Hi. So, after the video that I did about Aldi in the Netherlands, I thought it'd be good to do a video about Aldi back in the UK. Show you what it's all about. You can see we're filming this and it's getting ready for Halloween. So there's a few things to do with that on it. And I filmed it fairly late on where they were starting to refill the shelves a bit so that we didn't have loads of people wondering why I was rocking around with a camera. Give you some idea on prices. Tomatoes, baby plum ones for 99p. And if you like your chicken breast, well there's a kilo of it there for 11 99 If you haven't seen the video about Aldi in Netherlands, obviously there's going to be an awful lot the same, but they are actually two separate companies. It's an interesting one. Minced meat, or ground meat as you call it in America, 4.99 for 750 grams. Plenty of bacon there to go for, for £1.49, 10 slices. Now in the cooked meats, we don't just get UK ones, there are some German ones too that come through as well, obviously being a German company no doubt, but uh, they do give quite a variety of foods, um, I mean like for example these Rockburst, £2.79, not expensive. And sausages there for us. Those are unusual. Two forty-nine. Uh, normal sausages, normal pork sausages. Two forty-nine for a pack of six. Why did I say it was Halloween, didn't I? So here's some of the Halloween stuff that they've got on. Obviously for the trick or treaters. But if you notice there, in the Halloween lollies, they've got Christmas ones as well. Right next door to it, you're starting to get your Christmas ones. Come in left, right and centre. It's just round the corner. It seemed like two minutes ago since it was summer holidays. And of course, being English, mince pies, which do not have meat in them. They're just fruit pies, if you like. But taste totally different. Perhaps you'd like some Christmas pudding. Put a bit of brandy sauce on top of it. Or you can have custard or cream or whatever you want. The price is £3.79 for the big one. And these taste just as good as any. Now, obviously being in the UK, Kit Kat made only a couple of miles away from where we are. And of course, it's not just own brand or brands that you don't know, like every supermarket, no matter where they are, you get your likes of your Cadbury chocolate bar, you get the brands that you recognise. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you'd like to see new destinations, places to go for trips, holidays in the UK and sometimes elsewhere, why not hit that subscribe button? In the meantime, let's continue to have a look around this shop, Aldi in the UK. If you look here, if you're American, hot dogs, 99p for a tin of them. Or Rockburst, if you fancy a well, they're doing jars for some reason, just over £2. Now here's something that we did see on the other video, exact same product, some peppers. 169 over here. So, a direct comparison there for you. I think with Aldi, it's just about got everything you can want. You've know, just had the dog food there, there's the drinks here. If you want your Coke, Coca Cola, Pepsi, their own brand water, lemonade. Their lemonade actually is really nice. 
It's your sprite and whatnot. You've got your Colgate, Lynx, everything that you'd normally want that are branded, as well as the non wards But when it comes to the baby stuff, they have won top awards year in, year out for their products. And yes, we do have yogurts. And if you remember on the other video, I said about the Greek one, that's there, but most of them are in small tubs, nothing like what we saw in the Netherlands. Must get some tin foil. There you go, tin foil. If you like your beer, your Budweiser, ten forty nine for a pack of twelve. And you've also got some Brewdog there. That's quite a big brand. They have loads of wines, but you'll notice the difference compared to American supermarkets. You just walk past it. You can pick that up and when you get to the till, if you look 25 or younger in the UK, they will ask for proof that you are over the age of 18. One thing again that they've got right is their own brands. They again have won awards for their own brands. You know, Stefanov instead of Smirnoff Vodka. Plenty of frozen foods. Now, if you're getting sausages in the UK, one of the best ones is Richmond sausages. Nice thick, frozen, it's 2 99 for a pack of 20. Fancy a quarter pounders, pack of four for 2 99 Dinosaurs for the kids. That's not bad, 189. You got your chicken breast, 425 for a big frozen bag of it. One thing that is different between the UK and the US is the fact that people in the UK tend to shop two, three times a week quite often, not monthly or weekly. Yes, yeah, some do weekly, some will do monthly, but not many. And as I said about the ice creams being different, when was in the Netherlands, again they look similar, but they are different. Having tried some in the Netherlands compared to UK, definitely different. And pizzas, 97p for a pepperoni or cheese pizza, garlic bread, 115. Deep pan ones, just over a pound. You can get more expensive ones. But uh, that's where they start from. And obviously your frozen potatoes, chips, oven chips, roast potatoes. And your slimming meals. Now these are interesting, look at them. McDonald's, well they're not McDonald's, but they're frozen equivalents of, and that interests me, two party meal kits in the frozen packet. Chips, or French fries should we say, and that up there is definitely a Big Mac takeoff. The big stack looks identical. Got plenty of vegetarian foods as well as the Christmas food coming through. Quite fancy those donuts. As I say, with regard to the vegetarian, they've got quite a variety. I mean, uh, some quite nice options there. We've got a couple of vegetarian kids and we have to take that into account when we're buying stuff for them. 
jams, spreads, peanut butter, etc. And plenty of breakfast cereal. Oh, and by the way, there's some Weetabix there. If you're American and you have Weetabix, you put the Weetabix in, sugar, then milk. Don't eat it without the sugar. Kellogg's. Crunchy nut. Just over £2. Then your baking stuff. And of course, your eggs, which are not put in a fridge or anything, they're just on the shelf there, ready for you. One thirty-five for six, not bad. Do you like your spotted dick? Well, that ain't bad, is it? Sponge put in for you, 89p. Now these are a favourite of our kids. Waffles with some chocolate in. 159 for, let's see, there's uh, 12 of them in there. Save them for later. And you can get your PG tips, your Yorkshire tea, Nescafe, that sort of stuff. But there are some other teas there. Help you sleep and your immune system. They even sell flowers. And at this time of night, if you're lucky, you get some discounted ones. They always have some sort of offer going with regard to fruit and veg. So at the moment it's uh, apples and potatoes. And then you've got your lunchtime pasties and whatnot and even a bit of uh, sushi there for you. And Monster Munch Halloween Special Mayonnaise. Pickled onion flavoured mayonnaise. And now for the main thing in Aldi that really sets it apart, and that's the middle aisle, where literally anything can be in it. So let's have a good look through this. And it appears that we're having a little bit of a Indian time at the moment down here. Certainly some flavours there to be contested with. How about this for a drink? Going to get some of that. Beetlejuice Fanta Afterlife. £1.49. Then you come to the other stuff. The stuff that you need for your home. Rugs. Pillows, quilts, candles. They do have some strange fragrance in candles. One stage they actually had one that was cigarette flavoured. And then some workwear. If you're having to work outside, cheap option. Even some car maintenance stuff. Light bulbs. Got wiper blades there. And then obviously cleaning products. For your air fryer. That's not bad for a full set of uh, tableware. £8. But 
But they do have branded stuff in there as well, like the Pruina Baker's dog food, which is a big brand in Euro Europe, is Pruina. I can think of somebody who might like that. Their trainers are actually quite nice. They're cheap, but they're quite nice. Doing some knitting. And then we're into the toy stuff. Maybe something for Christmas for a little boy. Now these sell like mad. These are wooden toys. As in you've got a princess castle there made of wood. For the younger children. That's not bad at £25, £24.99. Nice big storage box for the toys to go in. A bit more Halloween stuff. Prime drinks. Not as popular as they were. Still too dear if they ask me. Heinz stuff. A few different flavours of M&Ms there. You do see sometimes some things that maybe not a name that you recognise. But this is something that if you're American you really need to get. That's some Jaffa cakes, try that. And if in Europe, you, I would imagine you've probably got them there. Under another badge though, I think they are. I think Pims or something like that. And of course, you've got your tubs of sweets for Halloween and Christmas. That's the point with the middle aisle. It can be absolute anything. Branded, non-branded, something that maybe has come from China. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed our little tour. If you haven't seen the Netherlands Aldi video, have a look at that. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.